Hello, hi YouTube, it is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something very exciting and different. Not K Beauty this time, but C Beauty, a brand that has gained some popularity, a lot of popularity in America, actually. And it is Flower Nose. <laughs> Look at this. I feel like I'm on the PR list right now with this beautiful box, a gift box I got. But yes, um, that is what I really love about this brand. Their attention to detail in Rococo, that beautiful angelic gold, flowers, filigree, all that goes up. My eight blushes came in. Today I'll be reviewing eight or seven blushes I ordered. They're having a sale and they're giving out a lot of free gifts. And they're from three different collections. The brand new collection, Midsummer Summer Fairy Tales. Then there is some blushes from Strawberry Rococo. And then I ordered a blush from the Old Swan Ballet collection as well. I'm gonna show you the little goodies that buying seven blushes gets you. First, I'm opening up the mirror so I could show you the hair clip. Attention to detail, as you can see, just in everything they do, beautiful design. That's why the spray is called the most beautiful makeup. Yeah, so I ordered the white vanilla free gift. Beautiful, this is gonna be the mirror I will be using on all of my YouTube videos from now on. This is the prettiest mirror I've ever owned. I've never owned many hand mirrors because I just use my makeup mirror, but for these types of videos, it's very useful. But now I can show you the hair clip because I will be able to see. This is the hair clip, adorable. Yay, oh my God, this is so pretty. I also got a bunch of uh, puffs because I ordered a bunch of blushes. They also gave me a brush, a blush brush. Super cute. And I'm gonna use it in today's video. This package also comes with a little card explaining their story on the back here and also adorable stickers. Also what comes in the box is a hairbrush. So this is the hairbrush it comes with. You can't really choose your color, it only comes in pink. I'm definitely gonna be using this brush, but yep, I will be swatching for you on my cheeks today seven blushes and i'll be starting with the oldest edition the swan ballet i got 02 romantic scissor and 03 silky ribbon all right we're gonna start off with 02 romantic scissor gorgeous stunning so this color is a nude peach a very light nude peach and now we are gonna ruin it. Let me pick my corner that I wanna ruin. Yeah, probably like the bottom here. We'll ruin first. So compared to other formulas, this already seems not as pigmented, just cause I'm having a hard time picking it up on the brush. Let's see if we see anything. Okay, I see something. Nice. It's just a, a very light. I'm glad I'm like white enough still to wear this shade <laughs> nice it's a, like a really pretty girly youthful ballerina pink for sure it makes my face glow up a lot i really like that it's really pretty i think this is a really good springtime color and next we will be trying on the beautiful silky ribbon which has blue and silver detailing again the embossment and the color here we go pale pink all right let's let's dig in so the 
those colors really pretty too. Definitely a nice cooler tone pink. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, this one has more white in it and it is more nude. This one is definitely more lilac-y. What do you guys think? I love it. I love both of them so far. You're like, these are really pretty. So this is Silky Ribbon. And this is Romanticism. Next I'm going to be trying on Strawberry Rococo Angel Chansom. This one looks like the peachiest blush of the group. And from my experience, I've bought these exact blushes before this collection and it's a lot more powdery and comes off onto the brush a lot easier. Definitely a nice light peach shade. It makes it look really healthy. It reminds me of the old blush style that I used to wear. I definitely like it. It's not usually what I wear, but it definitely complements my skin tone nicely. And now I'm gonna put classic ballet on my right cheek. Classic ballet still has that peachy tone, but it's definitely deeper. This is gonna give me more of a flush, I think. This one seems more pigmented than the previous three that I just watched. So let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> definitely more flushy. That's a weird word, flushy. Definitely gives me more of a flush. They look kind of similar, except Angel Chansom has more white. This one is definitely more rosy. These two are definitely on the warmer side. I've been watching Bridgerton lately, so I'm definitely inspired by their makeup looks. They use very beautiful, peachy, rosy makeup. Angel Chansom. And Classic Ballet. I think today I'm going to want to wear Berry Mary. So I'm actually gonna go a little out of order. So I'm going to swatch Little Cranberry from the Violet Strawberry Rococo series. It's just a new color they release for the summer. This is a great summertime blush. And the brand new Midsummer Fairy Collection blush in Dreaming Butterfly. So here's the packaging for Little Cranberry. And here is that color, just a beautiful deep medium to dark toned pink, which I think is perfect for the summer. Wow, it just screams pigment for sure. I'm a little scared. All right, let's, let's do this. Yeah, you gotta look, you gotta be a little careful or it could get patchy. But doesn't that give the most beautiful pink flush? Beautiful, it's so summery. Here is a little cranberry. Now I'm putting the beautiful new Midsummer series blush in Dreaming Butterfly. So this one's definitely more fluorescent pink. Brighter, more neon. These two sheets are very similar. This one's Little Cranberry and this is Dreaming Butterfly. Little Cranberry definitely is slightly more muted and berry-like. And Dreaming Butterfly is definitely more fluorescent, hot pink, almost. And if I'll be completely honest, guys, this brush is like not good, but I'm using it for the video and it's cute. All right, let's go. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Mm. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see a difference in these two blushes. I would say maybe more for autumn, this shade. You could still get away with it in the summer, but it's just it's a little warmer. This one's a little cooler. And you know me, I just, I like my cool blushes. Either way, I'm happy I got both of them. Little Cranberry. Dreaming Butterfly. 
And last but not least, we will be swatching 05 Berry Mary from the Strawberry Rococo collection. So this shade reminds me most of Bridgerton. Yep, this one again, also very pigmented. This one, this one's really pretty. For me, this is the one I think I'm gonna be using in summer the most. Very Bridgerton like, not too orange. This, I love this shade. This gives the perfect flush for me. This one's one of my favorites. This one's really cute. so there we have it thank you for watching my video i just watched seven flower nose blushes so far i'm very happy with these blushes let me know what your favorite blush is which one you're gonna get and keep on the lookout for more of my makeup videos more are coming more are coming hope you all have a beautiful day and a beautiful summer